What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and another Thursday update. It is the 14th of November. We won't be getting a big, big update, it looks like, until December 5th. Around that time, anyway. That seems to be kind of the date, right? But we do still have a couple of new things here, and they are obviously bringing out new events, new players, new cards. Every week, every two weeks, there's kind of like a bigger update, right? So the last update that we would have got was the objectives with the Spain national campaign here, and obviously the match pass and the phase and everything like that. So you're probably still working your way through that. But just a quick video here today to show you guys everything that's new if you're not at your console. And we will be live streaming later, so make sure you check out the live stream and pop in and say hello as well. We'll be talking about the future of eFootball, the December update, and a couple of other bits and pieces. So, European national teams, that is going to be going on for the next seven days. Get your random booster token with that. We also have the teamed event, which is the Italian clubs. That's going to be your skill trainers that you get there. And all of these match, uh, these events are going to be online. These are still ongoing. So Team Play Fun is still there for another week. And then Unlimited is still here for another three to four days. And then it versus the AI. So we actually have the AFC Asian qualifiers. That's going to be tied to Japanese box here uh, for free players. You also have the Italian clubs for your player of the week as well. Everything else is still the same. These are still ongoing. The Spain event, the European national teams, and the co-op versus the AI is still ongoing for six days, seven days, and then the national teams here as well. So nothing really new. Obviously, all of this stuff is still the same as well. The eFootball League and Match Pass have just continued to tie on with that with that phase. Um, we have a couple of login stuff as well. If you haven't already got you uh, your last Spain one, you will get that. Uh, obviously, with that login there, there's a couple of other bits and pieces there. To get as well we will be spinning on this for our free player of the weeks there is nothing in the shop i know a lot of people are asking me you know what players will be added to the shop what players will be here there is nothing in the shop but gabriel martinelli so gabriel martinelli is here as a left winger it's not a bad card for five thousand. honestly we might train him up and test him out he's got some pretty decent stats he's got 26 levels it's not a bad card i mean especially when you get it for free i think that they're probably going to add a bit more to this in v4.2 so if you want to hold on to your your actual football points that is something to think about but it's actually not a bad one right there's no strips available and the items that they have here is just training programs which are grossly over over expensive really um but on from everything else lads we still have the players that are going to be the main kind of aspect of this it's the boxes you've got your legends on a monday and you've got your player of the weeks on a thursday so this week we've got a double player of the week here which is going to be the European Championship. Luis Diaz finally gets a centre-forward card, Jules Koundé. We, uh, we did predict that he would get one as well because we knew that he had scored three assists and he gets the pinpoint cross on one. We also have Nicolas Koundé as well. It's not a bad option for any of these players. You've got Jan Oblak, you've got Kim, you've got Jokeresh. He finally comes. I thought that we'd get a higher card than this. I'm a little bit disappointed with this card because they did tease it. Now, he does have really high physical contact. He's got really good acceleration. He's got good finishing. But none of his stats are going to be hitting the threshold. So it's a bit disappointing, man, that this guy is not getting the God card. I think that they're going to probably hold on to that to get like a 96, 97 version of him over, over time, right? We also have Vanekin here who scored a penalty. We've got Luis Diaz who looks to be the pick of the pack. A very, very nice booster on him. Balance lets him down slightly, but is a phenomenal card. And he finally gets a goal poacher center forward type card as well. Very, very nice card. This is definitely going to be one that I'd like to try out. You know, you're going to have 90 type possession and finishing with a new manager. And then, of course, your kicking power is going to be over 85. Physical contact is going to be over 75, which could be a bit higher. Balance is going to be over 80. Type possession, ball control, attack and awareness. It's a good card. And his skills are nice. Koundé is always a very strong card. And again, this is going to be no different. He's got blocker, area superiority. Everything that you could possibly want, as well as having your know, like really good passing, really good aggressiveness and defense. And he looks like the Predator, lads, with that new hairstyle. Look at that. But anyway, Rafael Leao is there as well, right? You don't need to say too much about this guy. He's a creative playmaker. We've had lots of versions of him. And they're the rest of the players there. We'll have a deeper look at those in the live stream later. And then, of course, we do also have the double player of the week. We've got Hattrick Vinny Jr. We've got Moise Keane. And, of course, we do have another goalkeeper there. That's going to be just Cad and Fodder. It's just no point even talking about it. Bruno Fernandes does actually get a card. And so does Up and Meccano, Cunha and Pedro Lee Kang in as well as Conrad Harder here from Sporting. So, uh, uh, Jokeris' um, teammate, the 19-year-old, is very, very nice. He doesn't have a real in-game face, but again, sometimes I like my player of the week, lads. Uh, I just like playing with different type of cards, you know? 
But uh, Cambiasso gets one here as well, the 24-year-old. Very, very nice card as well. But yeah, I think at this stage, lads, it's going to be all about just the big cards. You've got a prolific winger, Vinny Jr. If you've missed out on any of his other versions, this is going to be a nice card. You've got the finishing and the type possession that are going to be nearly at 90. Ball control, dribbling, speed, acceleration, balance, all at 90. And his kicking power is going to be at 81. It's a very nice card. He's got some very, very nice player skills. Um, he does have double touch flip flap and soul control so that automatically puts him into a different category than most wingers but yeah it's a fairly okay selection the player of the weeks lads I'm down on them as it is anyway so it doesn't really make a difference we also have a new selection here of the Japan we're going to get a free one in that Iraq and Uzbekistan and these are still ongoing as well if you haven't got your free spins you should have by now so that is it for me, lads. We will be back with a stream in a little bit. We have nothing else in here apart from everything else that has already been added over the last couple of weeks. And the penalty system is still ongoing, right? So that is it for us. We'll be back in the, with the live stream. We'll be starting in about an hour's time by the time this video goes up. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys there. We'll chat about a couple of different bits and pieces and we'll talk about a few bits and pieces as well um, about some things going on with the game and what potentially we could get in december i think december a lot of people are waiting for that to be the next big update so let's see what it is until then i will talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the live stream peace